last session uh, we discussed abstract class right yes or no so just i will discuss over you so here the class which is declared with the abstract keyword is called as abstract class yes or no so now abstract class contains uh, only complete methods or only incomplete methods or uh, contains complete methods as well as incomplete methods so now here complete method nothing but the method with body or business logic is called as complete method so here the method without body is called as incomplete method so incomplete method is called as abstract method abstract method incomplete method is also called as abstract method generally we will define up incomplete method by using uh, abstract keyword by using abstract keyword and abstract class allow instance variables as well as constructor so here abstract class constructor is used to initialize uh, abstract class instance variables yes or no now we can't create an object to abstract class due to uh, abstract abstract internal mechanism is to restrict the developer to create an object that's it now here designing abstract class is useless without body subclass no no subclass is mandatory for abstract class this is what we discussed now here we will provide a uh, extends relationship between abstract class as well as subclass as yes or no so just i will give abstract class uh, add in now here assume public int add we take two numbers uh, so this is complete method or incomplete method incomplete method so incomplete method machine should declare with one keyword what is the keyword name abstract yeah that's it okay now uh, is it mandatory to define subclass or not required hmm? is it mandatory it's mandatory yeah huh? yes 
yeah yes, sir. mandatory Mandate. out of class useless useless to design after class now remove this one now example extends add in and override above method here and provide the logic or provide the business logic that's it and one plus and two that's it this is implementation class that's it. any questions this is what we discussed yesterday's session in today's session we'll discuss interface before this what is the meaning of abstraction what is the meaning of abstraction process of showing showing essential features to end user by hiding internal internal details is called as abstraction so we can achieve abstraction how many ways two ways we can two achieve ways. abstraction in two ways what are they by abstract. using by using abstract, abstract and class and, and by using interface so suppose we want to achieve full abstraction what it is full abstraction using then go for full abstraction then go for interface 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 now suppose we want to achieve uh, partial partial abstraction then go for abstract class interface sorry 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 abstract class class that's it this is what we discussed right now how to define abstract abstract class by using abstract abstract keyword by using abstract keyword right now here we will define interface by using a keyword called interface so here syntax uh, interface and here we will give interface name that's it any questions any question this is the syntax example uh, interface interface name add in that's it so clear which keyword is used to define the interface which keyword interface keyword interface keyword is used to achieve the is to define the interface now here interface contain only incomplete methods before java 8 java 8 is the new version from java 8 little bit changes are there in the interface we'll discuss at the time of java 8 feature discussion okay so interface contain only incomplete methods and interface does not allow complete methods before java 8 so here what are the incomplete method guys the method without body is called as incomplete, incomplete method. Yes, sir, general, how to define incomplete method? Just hmm. declaring the one. You can define hmm. incomplete method by using one keyword. Abstract. Abstract keyword. So here using using abstract keyword in or incomplete incomplete methods in interface is optional optional means suppose 
suppose the developer forget uh, to add abstract keyword before method before incomplete method then compiler will add public and uh, abstract keywords before the method that's it can you can you try this one so here this line meaning is up there here interface interface name add in now generally we will define uh, we will define uh, abstract method by using abstract keyword right int add int n1 comma int n2 so this is complete method or incomplete method incomplete so incomplete method should define with the abstract keyword or we can define suppose developer forget to add abstract keyword but in case of abstract class mandatory you can define a incomplete method by using abstract keyword suppose you will forget compile will throw error but in case of interface defining incomplete method with abstract keyword is optional suppose developer forget to initialize incomplete method with abstract keyword then compiler will add abstract keyword before the incomplete method that's it like this can you can you see whether it is compiler will add the abstract keyword before the incomplete method and can you try yes hello yeah observe interface interface name suppose i will give add in now here public int add int n1 comma int n2 okay observe so as as per your understanding this is the incomplete method why because there is no body but abstract keyword is mandatory to define incomplete method yes or no up to abstract class from interface onwards it is now it is optional to use abstract keyword before the incomplete method suppose developer forget the compiler will add it we'll check that is added by the compiler or not if developer forget to add abstract keyword before the incomplete method now observe suppose i will add here save with dot java only save so here my files are there here now save it save it that's it now open command prompt it is space now my java file is in this location now java c space uh, add in dot java now compiling now i will use one more command java p java p nothing but java profile so in order to find out the internal details about your class we will use java p command java p space what is your dot class file name so dot class means interface name observe here oh observe here are you able to see this one magic is going on so here abstract keyword compiler added or not added added hmm? yeah, added yeah super so no question up to this right now uh, so abstract class hello instance variables right so here interface does not allow interface does not allow instance variables interface allow constants only generally we can define constants by using one keyword that keyword name is final keyword final keyword that's it so here here 
again observe here interface interface name now observe here int n1 equal to 10 this is what guys int n2 is equal to 90 these are the instance variables or what huh yes Those are what instant, is right? Variables are constants. Oh, huh? those are the instant variables. No, so, I told one point, right? Interface does not allow instance variables. Interface allow only constants. So this is the wrong statement, or it is what? So look like above these two are instance variables, right? Yes. Yes or no? Looks like yes. instance variables, but here compiler will add keywords like public static and wide Sorry. public static final keywords before the variable so final always remember to define the constants observe same example we'll try copy this one here now look like these two are instance variables or are constants right now it's huh? instance. instance instance but look like dollop in perspective of developer it look like instance variables but that is not at all instance variables compiler will add public static final observe here Observe. Now those two are instance variables or constants. Okay, right now it became constants. So clear, right? So for developer, mm -hmm. forget to define public static final before the variable. Then compiler will add public static final. That's it. Any questions up to this? Any questions? So everything guys i i will go through practical only so yes any questions up to this any questions no sir so interface contain constants or instance variables the constants constants so suppose there is no instance variable so meaning is there is there is no instance variables concept in interface suppose there is no instance variables constructor is required constructor is required or not required not, not required, required right? constructor purpose is what constructor purpose is what to initialize, initialize the object to initialize initialize the instance variables instance variable. but there is no instance variables concept then no use for uh constructor in case of interface right interface does not allow constructor why because generally constructor purpose is to initialize instance variables there is no instance variables concept that's it so interface allow constructor huh no interface or constructor no sir now one more question one more question can you create an object to interface no right there no. is no complete method right mm -hmm. yes or no we can't yes. create an object to interface due to there is no complete methods so only incomplete method suppose you'll create an object for incomplete method no use now similar to abstract class here also designing implemented previously in case of uh, concrete class is called as subclass in case of abstract class same concrete class called as implementation class in case of interface just a terminology change designing implementation class 
is mandatory for interface so here designing interface without implementation class is useless so clear so now so implementation class is mandatory for interface without implementation class designing interface is useless now we will use one keyword what the keyword implements to provide relationship between implementation class and interface and interface that's it so example syntax interface interface name now implements implements add in like this is mandatory for interface that's it uh, it does the same thing as the abstract class so why we need to use the interface instead of the abstract class yeah suppose suppose client given requirement to you at the time of client giving increment uh, requirement you have any uh, implementation you know you don't know right that's the reason we are using the abstract class right no no, no. abstract class contain both complete as well as incomplete methods okay yeah so one more scenario. wait wait one more scenario i will give it so in case of class or abstract class you can't achieve multiple inheritance by using interface you can achieve multiple inheritance and okay. We can achieve inter we can use interface to achieve the loosely coupling as well hello sir yeah tell me abstract class can implement multiple inheritance uh, multiple uh, interfaces in uh, one class is can possible so we will we'll discuss once practical is done then you can ask the questions one by one okay hello sir. Okay, sir. hello yep uh can we create anonymous object for abstract class sorry can yes. we create yes, anonymous we'll anonymous anonymous will discuss don't worry we'll first we'll go through practical this one then we'll discuss anonymous okay okay sir. yeah please go through notes once if everyone okay then i will start practical on this <laughs> Yeah. So same example I will try to implement. So I am going to design interface. Public. So after here, int add. So now I forget. Uh, now I forget abstract methods. Forget to add abstract method. Then who will add? Who will add? Super. Now this is the interface. So there is there any any chance to allow complete methods as part of this interface? No. No. Then designing the implementation class is useless mandatory. mandatory mandatory that's it what is the relationship between implementation class and interface implements implements and override that method whatever interface contain redefining this method and providing the logic this is uh, this is called single level inheritance what is this single level can i can i assume this is single this is the child yeah. class this is the mm -hmm. parent class okay now i will design main method execution start from main method Now observe. So 
so create an object to implementation class and call the method that's it That's it. Any questions? One minute. I will give this example. Notes posted or not posted in the group? Posted? Posted. Now, I will go one more example. So, what is the relationship between interface to interface? We'll discuss. So, here, I have one interface, interface A, and one more interface. Uh, what is the relationship between these two? Hmm? So, all this interface, interface to interface, extent only. What is this? Extent. Okay. okay. So, now, so here, this is interface and this is class what is the relationship between class to interface implement implements hmm. huh? implements so far hmm. now this is the abstract class this is subclass what is the relationship between these two class class and then Abstract class. What is the relationship? Extends. Yeah, extends. That's it. So just to go through this one. Now I will remove this programs. Then I will start designing programs from scratch. Yeah. Observe here. My requirement is I want to design two interfaces which provides extends relationship now observe this is a interface hmm. my method public wide m1 so this is complete method or incomplete method this is complete method or incomplete method incomplete method so mandatory abstract keyword is mandatory for incomplete method right Uh, hmm? Compiler will be automatically taking yes. that. Suppose developer forget to add abstract keyword before the method, then compiler will add it. Now I will design one more interface. Now these two interfaces are independent or dependent? Independent. Two. Huh? Independent. Independent, right? Now A interface contain how many methods? One method. Oh. One method. Yeah. Interface contain how many methods? One method. One method. What is the relationship yeah. between interface to interface? Extends keyword. Extends. Yeah. Now B interface contain how many methods? Two, Two methods. methods. Two methods. Now this is called what? Multi-level, right? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. So now we override these two methods and provide the logic m1 
system two. So this is implementation classes. Now I am going to design main method. So in the main method, I will create an object to the implementation call implementation class and call the particular method on the implementation class. CC is equal to new C. On the implementation class, we can call one by one method. That's it. And execute. Now this is one interface. Any questions this one? This is one more interface. This is implementation classes. This is main method where execution starts from. That's it. So I will post these notes. Now, so now we are good, right? One, so now, how many interfaces are there as of now? How many interfaces are there? Two interfaces. Two interfaces. Two interfaces. Now, please observe. Now I will design the interface again. Package. Dot sp. So now one interface. Public wide M one. This is one more interface. Yeah, total how many interface? Hmm? Two interfaces. So I will design one more interface which, which extends more than one. Extends A comma B. Uh, now how many methods? How many interfaces are extended by C? Yeah. Sorry? Three methods will be there and C. The total how many methods C contains? Three. Cla in, in class level, class section only one class at a time, yes or no? Mm -hmm. So clear? Yeah. So like this through interface, we can achieve multiple inheritance. I will show you that one as well. Now I will take implementation class. In the implementation class, I will provide the implementation to C. C nothing but contain all the methods. That's it. In the main method, create an object implementation class and call the method. Always execution start from main method. It is equal to new D and D dot m1 b dot m2 b dot m3 run it run a java application that's it so any questions one interface can connection more than one interface yes or no yes huh? yes
so this is b interface sir if the method name means is same in all classes then how how will it Sorry. determine which uh, method it's called if Sorry. method name is same in all classes yes yes i will discuss that one only next one the implementation class A interface contain how many methods? One method. Huh? Yeah, same One method, method. B interface. B interface also contain same method. The, these methods are complete method or incomplete method? Hmm? Incomplete method. So A and B contain same methods or different methods? Different methods. Same method. Method. Same. Huh? Same. Same. Okay. Same method. Same. A and B same incomplete method now d implements up there here a comma b uh, which method we will get overridden which class either a or b compiler hmm? issue Any, anything anything is fine right one minute okay. a Sir, non implemented methods. One minute, one minute. One minute. Huh? Yeah, that's it. So these two are in the incomplete methods, right? From any class, any class will consider this yes, SR. Now there is no logic. One minute. One minute, guys. One minute. So this is interface. This is also interface. Yeah, observe here. What is this? Adding unimplement. Abstract D method. Must implement the inherited abstract method. BM2. So we need to uh, implement BM2 dot like that. Sorry. Again, we'll call this. So D, uh, this D class is telling D. So uh, D class should be implement uh, uh, B interface method also, right? So currently we are implementing uh, which method uh, this class don't know because A having the same method name, B having the same method name. Uh -huh. So we need to so, specify any uh, interface names. R, R. I will give one more scenario. So these two contain same, same right? So this is scenario possible. Please try it. So same scenario will try through interface. So you can try that one same thing through class only. Class implements. Can you try guys? So here extends a comma b. Can I can I try like this? Now C contain how many methods? Now C contains uh, two methods. Uh, a one, a one, right. one. One only, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, one minute. One minute. I will try this. My system problem is there. One minute. So the overall answer should be. Uh, it is mandatory. Wait, wait, wait. Something happened here. Otherwise, one minute. Mm, so far, that. 
the system getting trouble okay we'll discuss this one this one next session okay maybe look like uh, my sts not working properly we'll discuss this one okay okay sir